So, back to Cheltenham then for the final race of day one. It's the four-year-old hurdle. It's the prestige, and obviously the prestige juvenile hurdle. Potential in Spage at the top for Joshua Sutherland. Chaos Bell. Craig Beckwith, final say, Darren Thompson, Military Crusade, Jim Murray, Moushe Le Siflet for Padraig Hogan, Mr. Fish, Marty Lira, Redondo Beach, Leon Van Rensburg, Cladora Alacaba and Habaria Zara for Derek Hinton, Native Waters, Craig Beckwith, Padan Project, Marty Lira, Pasalina Lantzov for Padraig Hogan, Ruth Noir's Fanning for David Robertson, Stiletto Hill, Daniel French and Village Witch, Jim Murray. Fifteen of them then. In this one, I'm making no comments about anything after what happened in the last race. Although, well, it just goes to show that I and racing just goes to show you that it is proof that I do actually commentate on these races live and not watch them first because I surely would have redone that one if I'd seen it. Anyway, Mr. Fish is the leader, but he's now been pressed by Redondo Beach as they get over the first of the eight. So, it'll be a good test for these four yards. Two races at Cheltenham, the Cheltenham Festival, Rumble. one's a handicap. And one's a grade one, so you also got the thing of the grade one one is a furlong further and he's on the other course, so sometimes you don't want to get yourself weighted out of that other one. Anyway, Redondo Beach is the leader, a long way to go before we get anywhere near the Cheltenham Festival and we get over the second of the eight. And Redondo Beach. He's in the lead. Uh, potential in spades. They passed the winning post with a complete circuit to go. Stiletto Hill trying to regain his crown after being surprisingly beaten in France last week. But that is a pretty unique track, that hurdle tracker boy toy. So maybe it was that. Seeing back to the devastating form of weeks one and two. But anyway, at the moment, Redondo Beach is the one setting the pace. And Chaos Bell on the inside of Stiletto Hill as they take the third from behind the bushes. In towards the back, Ruth Noir's Fanning is the one who is the back marker. And a couple of them to drift of the rest of them. Redondo Beach in front. I think there's only been four juvenile hurdle races so far this season there was one in week one or two in week two and then just one last week or maybe there was two last week just one in week two I can't remember anyway they're over number four Stiletto Heels won two of them Haunting third Mr Fish won another one and I think the one on the outside the top one potentially in space Joshua Sutherland's horse was the one that upset the apple cart last week and beat the Daniel French hot pot but they're already racing towards the fifth of the eight and Redondo Beach is well clear of the grey Cladora Alacaba in second potential in spades is on the outside now in third then final say in Stiletto Hill and Mr Fish so if those three are the three that have won the races they're all up there with a chance at the moment there's a big gap after them four or five length gap back to final say and Village Witch Chaos Bell and Padan Project but they're heading now down towards the final couple and it's Redondo Beach who's in the lead three flights to get over Redondo Beach and he's still a good four clear as he gets over the third last jump that really well from Cladara Alacaba in second final say has moved through then Mr Fish then after that one comes Stiletto Hill and potentially in space Padam Project is running on well from the back so to his village witch they've got two to get over two furlongs to go over it they go and it's still Redondo Beach the fall of their village witch has gone and now Mr Fish comes around the outside Mr Fish takes it up from Cladora Alacaba then final say and Redondo Beach then potential in space and Stiletto Hill they swing for home they've got a furlong to go and one flight to get over and it's Cladora Alacaba who's gone on here comes Stiletto Hill on the outside down on this final flight over it they go Mr Fish jumps it best of all Cladora Alacaba's in front Mr Fish and Stiletto Hill then potential in spades but it's Cladora Alacaba that takes it Mr Fish second Stiletto Hill third potential in spades fourth so we've got a new kid on the block looking for the juvenile champion of the year he's one of those Divisions where they all race out against each other week after week. And it gets interesting towards the end of the season. All those group ones come up. Cladora Alacaba took it for Derek Hinton. Mr. Fish second for Martin Lillum. Stiletto Hill for Daniel French back in third. Potential in spades for Joshua Sutherland fourth. And final say for Darren Thompson fifth. So there you go. Action packed day one. We'll be back tomorrow with day two.